Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for your May 2022. Uh, so this is a new person that you're dealing with. So we're going to take a look at this new person, uh, what their over energies are like, what they're like, um, what they're currently thinking, feeling towards you, um, their over energies, okay? So And then um, we'll finish off the read to see... Um, you know, what you need to know about them, what else you need to know about them, and what their long-term intentions are with you moving forward. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, it could be a situation that you haven't met this person yet and you, you could meet this person in the future here, okay? You could switch the roles. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, keep in mind, these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Virgo, let's get started. What do we have for Virgo regarding their new person? What is this person's over energies like? What is this person currently thinking and feeling towards Virgo? What do they need to know about Virgo? Uh, what does Virgo need to know about this new person for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. All right, let's see what we have here. Eight of Swords. Seems like this person has fears. Or that this person is paranoid. Paranoid about the future here. Or is unsure about the future. Or doesn't know what's what's going to happen in the future here. Three of Wands. We have the King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Whoever this individual is, this is a very, very, very attractive individual with a, a lot of people you know, gravitates towards this individual. This person doesn't have any trouble meeting anyone. Girls, boys, uh, there's no genders in, in tarot, but you know, just apply this to your own unique situation. I would say that this person's right hot. Yeah, let's see. What else do we have here? I feel like you, like someone here wonders whether, you know, they're really truly interested in them because I feel like this person, you know, could be very flirty with other people here. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here. You know, I, so I feel like this person's intentions are to, um, you know, move towards a commitment here with you. But I feel like there's an energy where someone here feels like they're unsure about it. You know, it, people are quite interesting because like sometimes, you know, sometimes people want something and then they're not sure about it. Maybe this person's feeling the same way. I don't know. I feel like someone here fears abandonment or fears being abandoned. Could be an issue with just this person's behavior. Yeah, maybe. Tell me about the Eight of Swords here. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? We have Temperance, Three of Wands, Seven of Wands, King of Wands, Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Ten of Pentacles, and a Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. Could be a very sexual connection, lots of sexual energy here. So I do feel like, the, I feel like you might be this Queen or this Empress here. I feel like this person does find you very, 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 very attractive. But I'm feeling like someone here is feeling like there's a lack of uh, consistency or that there's a lot of inconsistencies here. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like your gut feeling is telling you that there's something wrong. Your guides and your angels are telling you that there's something wrong and they feel like they want you to have your walls up with this individual. Yeah. Uh, I do feel like this person might be a bit hard to trust, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like this person might make plans with you and they might flake out on you here, uh, Virgo. So Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. 
uh, there's some inconsistencies here, okay, with this individual. Like I said, this person could be in this energy of wanting sex. I mean, you want long-term commitment, but, uh, you know, perhaps, you know, this person moving forward can make you feel very, very, very lonely because there's just a lack of emotions here. Okay, um, strength, Leo energy. Could be dealing with a Leo here. You might have Leo in your chart. Let's see what else we have here for you, Virgo. Tell me more about this uh, new person. What is this new person's long-term intentions with Virgo? And what else does Virgo need to know about this person for May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Virgo. I do feel like maybe this person is a person that's really hard to pin down, okay? So, well, we have the Six of Cups here. I, I feel like you guys might have known each other for a long time. If not, it could be like a past life soulmate here, okay? Could also be a situation that this person might not be an over an ex either, okay? Uh, we have the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. This person might be telling you that, you know, they are over the X. They're not interested in the X anymore. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. There is some sort of fear surrounding rejection here. I do feel like someone here might get rejected. We have the Four of Swords. And then we have the Six of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone here, I feel like there's, there's going to be co conflict here between you and this person. And, you know, Virgo, I feel like you're going to move away from this. Okay? Uh, yeah, I feel like you're going to move away from this. Um, I, I do feel like the offer is going to be rejected. I do. You might reject the offer. Because, like I said, I feel like your gut's telling you that there's something wrong. And I feel like you're going to trust that gut. Yeah, I mean, you're coming up as the Empress here. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and then the Queen of Cups, Four of Cups in the reverse, and the Fool, Four of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out very well, and I feel like you already know that. Yeah, Six of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Two of Wands. We have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Someone here is about to offer you commitment, but I feel like you're going to walk away from this. You know, I feel like there's an energy of searching out there, looking for better in the fit. Like, there's an energy of there's plenty of fish in the sea. I don't have to, you know, just settle on this one or just stick with this one, you know? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a situation that, um, Virgo, that you might be fantasizing or thinking about it next. Maybe that's, that could be one of the reasons why that you're not pursuing this. Yeah. Another thing is that your intuition might be telling you that too. We have the full Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius. And we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's, it just seems like you're going to shut this down. I just feel like you're not really quite interested in this person anyway. Maybe the sex was great. Maybe you had slept with this person a couple of times. But um, yeah, I just feel like you're just going to take off and look for love somewhere else. Perhaps some of you guys might want to go towards an X. I keep I keep hearing X. Two of Wands. Two plus five is seven. So I feel like you're gonna just block this person, or someone's gonna block someone. You can switch the roles if you want, um, uh, uh, Virgo. Uh, but I, I, I just feel like your gut feeling is telling you that there's something wrong, and I just feel like you're gonna make your decision based on that. Yeah, I just feel like maybe it could be a situation that you thought you were ready for someone new, but maybe this whole X thing came up. I mean, we are in Mercury retrograde right now, so a lot of past issues do come up during this time, okay? And, you know, and your ruling planet is Mercury, so um, it's going to affect you guys a lot more. Uh, you and Geminis, yeah, so... Um, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.